Hi everyone! Today I'll be watching a little known movie called Saving Private Ryan. Now, it's possible that not many of you have heard of this movie, but it was actually a pretty big movie back in the day. I surprisingly don't know anything about this. Well, sorry, I know very, very little about this. I recently found out that it is a Steven Spielberg film. Surprise. It happens during some kind of war. I don't know if it's like a specific war or just combat or just a war. And the other thing I think I know is that years ago there was like an article detailing how much money the government has spent saving Matt Damon in his films. And I think Saving Private Ryan was on there, which would mean that Matt Damon would be Private Ryan. That, I'm not 100% sure, I think that's what I remember, so that's the extent of my knowledge about this movie. Before we start, obviously there's going to be a little quote trivia. So in this segment, I say a quote from a movie that I've seen on my reaction channel. So let me know in the comments if you know the movie, and also who said it. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. Who said it and what movie? Also, I do have some lemonade. I highly doubt people in this movie will have access to lemonade, so we might as well just treasure it here. If you'd like to see my full-length reaction on everything, or if you wanted to support me, you can do so by signing up to Patreon. The link is in the description. Now it's time to go save Private Ryan. All his friends? Maybe this is Private Ryan when he's older and all his friends saved him. Just the sheer number of casualties in wars is just mind-blowing. It's so devastating, I would say. Oh. Tom Hanks. Oh god. Are they gonna drown? What a way to go. Everything is like calm and then all hell breaks loose. Oh. Damn it! It's like you have like a hundred people and then only like 20 survive. That's what it feels like. It's just like... The traumas of war. Watch out? That's all I could read. Oh, never mind. Okay. I feel like there's no good answer, though. God. I mean, you stay here or you go, you're dead. That's what it feels like. Look, look at that. I feel like there must have been some a better place to land. No, is this the best they they could land in? Ooh, that's why he's so much lighter. Are they gonna run out of ammo soon? Cause that would be nice. Is this a safe spot? Oh. Oh, that's not good. First way, ineffective. We do not hold the beach, say again. We do not hold the beach. Oh. Your party. Your party. Uh, right. Uh, about that. You're in charge now of that, too. Oh, damn. 
Oh. Damn it. This is freaking horrible. I don't know what Bangalores are. Those? So they've got a little bit of defense there. Oh no. It's... No, no, put it back on! Put it back on! You idiot. Oh. This is intense. Oh. Oh, smart. Get them? I hope? Oh, this is just madness. I would not be brave enough for this. Oh yeah, look at that. MVP right there. I mean, at least there's something. This is a bit of good news. This is terrifying. They're like slowly moving up. This is good. It's very interesting to see them like slowly infiltrate. Oh, flamethrower. Oh, uh, there we go. Don't shoot! Let him burn! <sighs> yeah, they're not gonna accept surrender. Are you kidding me? Oh, they are. Interesting. Pretty sure that means, you know, I surrender. Hey, fish. Vin Diesel? <laughs> oh, he collects soil from... Interesting. I mean... Gotta do something. Ugh. Oh. And then after the war, you have the, the cleanup crew. This is horrible. Ryan. This is Private Ryan? An operation to this war. How was the one who held us all together? So many letters. Are these all true, or are these just like things that they make up to make families feel better? This man was killed last week. Daniel. Ryan. The three men are brothers, sir. Okay. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. Ooh. Ouch. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. That's the one we have to save. With He's somewhere in Normandy. We don't know where. Is he alive? We don't know. Wow. Here's three letters. Three of your sons are dead. This is great. There is no way you can know where in the hell he was dropped. There's misdrops all over Normandy. Oh, Assuming God. Private Ryan even survived the jump. In fact, he's probably KIA. That's quite possible. And frankly, sir, we go sending some sort of rescue mission. They're gonna be KIA too. <laughs> like a suicide mission to go? I don't know if this is based on a true story or not. I'm assuming no, but I could be wrong. It's a tough assignment. That's why you got it. Thanks. I've got another one for you. No. Yes, sir. This one's straight from the top. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna save Private Ryan. I understand you speak French and German. Yes, sir. I've never I haven't held a weapon since basic training, sir. Did you fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. Well, then get your gear. Yes, sir. Then you're qualified. Oof. You should look on the bright side of things, Corporal. And that is. You don't need to carry those. You'll need that. Need this. Yes. Oh. oh, poor guy. I would be just as bad. Terrified. Oh, gosh. I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? Think about the poor bastard's mother. I mean, shit, I bet even the captain's got a mother. Probably. Well, maybe not the captain. 
There's not a reason why there's but to do and die. We all have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mother's. <laughs> Captain's a translator. Especially if you think the mission is Fubar. What's Fubar? Oh, it's German. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never heard of that. Thunder! Flash! Pop him over there. Robin, you four go. I don't know why they did thunder and flash. It's gonna be tight. Be prepared for close contact. Oh go. my gosh. Yes, Please survive. Stay right here. I feel like all, most of them are just gonna die. Like an old. Oh. Every time they're like they're like not behind cover, I'm scared. Papa, come to show themselves. Oh man. No, 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 we can't take the kids. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. We're not here to do the decent thing. We're here to follow fucking orders. Take this goddamn kid. No, did he get? Oh no. Oh. He was on the ground, but we heard the shot. That's where I'd be. The freaking tower. Yeah. Hold on, Gaparzo. Do they have a medic? Me up, I can walk. I can walk. No, you can't. Captain! Can you see him from there? How is he? Where's he shot, Captain? Don't! Oh! Don't! Damn it! Stay down! Oh, don't kill him! Look at that. Okay, now we can go save him, right? We haven't... Oh. I hope he's still alive. That's why we can't take children. Oh. Don't take kids. Got it. Thunder! Flash! Oh, got it. it. They're codes. This goddamn hitchhiker out of my boot. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Aww. Up. Well, pretty crazy. They were separated by a freaking wall, and that's it. Redeploy that bazooka to the right side of the road. And get Ryan up here. Oh, he is there? Sir, Private Ryan recording is ordered. At ease. Okay. Captain well, Miller, Second Rangers. That's not Matt Damon. Is this the wrong Private Ryan? Oh, um, what's his name? Firefly? There isn't any real easy way to say this, so, uh, your brothers are dead. How, how did they die? They were killed in action. It can't be. My brothers are still in grammar school. <laughs> James Francis Ryan, Mile. James Frederick Ryan, Minnesota. Oh, my God. Your brothers are. Does that, does that mean my brothers are okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Oh god. We're looking for a different private Ryan. This is just a big foul up. Oh gosh, this is embarrassing. Anybody from Baker Company talk about where the drop zone might have been? I know Baker Company had the same rally point as us. Show me. Okay. It's like they're going on like a wild goose chase. Got anything left in this town like a three star hotel? Something with clean sheets and soft pillows and room service? <laughs> for sure. You may have to get yourself a new line of work. This one doesn't seem to agree with you anymore. <laughs> yeah. What was the name of that kid that Anzio owned? Becky O. Becky O. <laughs> Is it good to see them be able to laugh occasionally? 
When you end up killing one of your men, you tell yourself it happened so you could save the lives of two or three or ten others. That's not the case now. Do you know how many men I've lost under my command? How many? Ninety-four. Oof. So you rationalize making the choice between the mission and the men. That is not an easy thing to do. Except this time the mission is man. This Ryan better be worth it. He'd better go home, cure some disease, or invent a longer lasting life. I'll colonize bonus. Mars if that helps. The truth is, I wouldn't trade ten Ryans for one Vecchio or one Caparzo. Amen. Oof. Yeah. This specific mission is not great. I guess that's Emerson's way of finding the bright side. You know Emerson, sir? I don't know some. So where are you from, Kevin? <laughs> Trying to sneakily get it. What's the pool up to? <laughs> Well, when it gets up to 500, I'll give you the answers and we'll split the money. How about that? <laughs> I suggest that we wait until it gets up to 1,000, sir. I wonder if we don't live that long. Oh, wow. Now I want to know what he used to do before the war. Like a teacher or something, I don't know. Opham? Yes, sir. Check out that squad, see if Ryan's in it. Yes, sir. I'm Yudin, you know? Yudin. Can't just provoke them, piss them off. 22 guys dead. Those are not good numbers. All that for a general? One man. A lot of that going around. Huh. Yeah. Fubar. Yeah, hey, look at Fubar in the German dictionary. There's no Fubar in there. <laughs> oh, Appum. Think that little prick's in there? Well, if he is, I'm just fine. I think I got a winner. Ryan. You know what? You're a genius. You really are. R I E N N E. It's three M and it's French. <laughs> All right. Close. Jesus Christ! Look at this poor bastard, huh? Oh, what the oh goddamn airboat right. watching. These are liquid chips. Someone has, you know, a bit of compassion. You know, Private Ryan. You're gonna have to speak up. You're sir. gonna have to speak Things up, so sir. Good. My hearing is not goes. so good. You know, Private Ryan. He's like <laughs> barely speaking louder. Of course I know him, sir. Does he know where he is? Yeah, yeah, Ramel, the babysitter bridge. Okay. Thank, thank you, right, thank, read, read, and thank you. You're welcome. Assemble on me. Okay, so they're, they've got a new location to go now. Jesus, Murphy. <sighs> Where's Ramel? Oh. Keep thinking everything's a trap. I hear what you're saying. We can't go around it. We just wouldn't leave it here so they can ambush the next company that comes along? Ooh. Seems like an unnecessary risk, given our objective, sir. Our objective is to win the war. Ah. Uh, sir, I just, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this one. I have a bad feeling about this, too. When was the last time you felt good about anything? Oh, my God. He has a point. But this is so risky. Three, three runners with suppressing fire. Mellish, you hook to the right. I'll go up to middle. Who's going left? You're gonna have to pick someone. Who's going left? I'll do it. I'll go left. All right. Oh, boy. Maybe I should go up the middle, sir. The way you run, I don't think so. Maybe I should go left, sir. Maybe you should shut up. It feels like tensions are high all the time, and like I keep expecting someone to just not follow orders, and it's gonna ruin everything. Oh, this is. There's a grenade. No, no. Oh. I guess just wait a little bit before throwing it, and then it'll explode in their hands when they throw it back. Oh no, the doctor got. Oh no, this is terrible. Oh. Not the freaking medic. How's it look? How's it look? It's gonna be okay. It looks fine. There you go. Wait. Here you go. Here comes. Another one.
Of course it had to be the medic. Please don't shoot I don't care what he says, Alvin. Oh. Sir, are you gonna let them kill him? Yes. This is not right. So... You can help him with the bodies. Oh. What is happening? This is war. Oh. No. <laughs> They're not gonna let him show compassion at all. I feel like knowing that you lost two men while looking for one is not a good feeling. <laughs> Sir, he says he's sorry about Wade. Well, I mean, that doesn't change anything, does it? Captain, this isn't right. To march a thousand paces in that direction. If he Thank turns you. himself into the first Thank Allied you, patrol he comes across. You. you gotta be kidding me. We'll let him go. Oh. Oh my god, this is like. Get your gear. Let's go. I'm glad that people are not... Oh, wait. Captain just gave you an order. Little Jimmy's life is a little bit more important than two of our guys. But then again, we haven't found them oh, yet. Oh, this Have is not good. Have... I completely understand, though. But I'm done with this. I'm not going to ask you again, soldier. Captain! Oh, my God. This is bullshit. What? You going to shoot me over, Ryan? Huh? He's better than you. Well, then why don't you just do it, Sarge? Do it, man. Don't Put do it. in my leg. You Captain, please. Give me that What's the pool on me up to? What? What? I'm What's waiting. the pull on me up to right now? Wait, what is it? Uh, Three hundred dollars? Is that it? Three hundred? I'm a school teacher. I don't know. If that's true. Sometimes I wonder if I've changed so much, my wife is even going to recognize me, and how I'll, I'll ever be able to to tell her about days like today. I feel like you can't really. I don't know anything about Ryan. I don't care. Finding him so he can go home. If that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well then. That's my mission. All right, I won't stop you. I just know that every man I kill, the farther away from home I feel. It is definitely like a horrible feeling. Ideally, there would be no war. I don't like this. I feel like they have to see. Oh. Who's doing a shoot? Oh, please, no friendly fire. I feel like... Hold on, make sure down. There's so many chances of friendly fire happening. We're coming out. Oh! Ryan! Oh my god, this could be good! Captain Miller, Charlie Company, 2nd Rangers. Corporal Henderson, Easy Company, 501st. Ryan, 1st of 506. Oh! That's him! James Francis, Ryan? Yes, sir. How'd you guess that? Uh, we've got news for you. Your brothers were killed in combat. Which, which ones? Uh... All of them. Our orders are to bring you back. Don't mean to leave you even more shorthanded, but orders are orders. I have my orders too, sir. They don't include me abandoning my post. Oh. Sir, I can't leave until at least reinforcements. You got here. three minutes. Oh, Sir, gosh. what about them? I mean, there's barely hardly hey, enough of this. Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? Why? Why me? Why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. Oh, this is, this is not how I was expecting this to go. There's no way I'm leaving this bitch. That trek was for nothing? Wow, that's... Well, that's a slap in the face. What do you think? We stay and actually make it out of here. Saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this whole god-awful shitty mess. Oh, brother. <laughs> it's just that everything depends on getting a tank down this main road for us to knock out, right? So how the hell do you plan on doing that? Magic? We could try a sticky bomb. Sticky bomb, sir? Sir, are you making that up? <laughs> no, it's in the field manual. We seem to be out of field manuals, sir. <laughs> you take a standard issue GI sock, cram it with as much comp B as it Look can hold. Look at that hold. teacher. 
just as good. Now we gotta surrender our socks. <laughs> well, we're going, we don't need socks. This is the Alamo. They push us back this far, last man alive, blows the bridge. Where am I during all this? Never more than two feet away from me. <laughs> we're gonna be displacing and falling back like crazy sons of bitches. So you gotta be Johnny on the spot with the ammo. Oh, we're dead. Right. Okay. Uh, again, up on my... To be honest with you, I, I find myself curiously aroused by you and... <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of Mrs. Rachel Trubowitz and what she said to me the day I left for basic. What, don't touch me? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I can't see my brother's faces. Mm -hmm. I re I've been trying. Well, you don't just think about their faces, you think about something specific, something you've done together. Definitely a teacher. Two of my brothers came and, and woke me up in the middle of the night. They said they had a surprise for me. Okay. He loses the shovel, goes out of his grasp, and hits a kerosene lantern. Oh my the God. thing explodes. The whole barn <laughs> almost goes up because of this thing. Everything's going wrong. That was it. That was the last. That was Dan went off to basic the next day. Oh. Oh no. Tiger tanks, two of them. Panzer tanks, two of them. Infantry, fifty plus change. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Up them. Hustle up. Yeah, hurry up. Don't drop anything. Okay. We don't have a 30 caliber machine gun in this position. Either Mr. Mellish or Mr. Jackson in the bell tower needs that. Oh, God. Poor guy. Jackson's fine. Turn around to Mellish. Oh, no. So it begins. It's a ton of infantry, Captain. I don't know if they took the bait, though. I hope so. It sounds like it. Oh. Panzers didn't take the bait. Damn it. Oh, oh, turn around. Oh, yeah. That'd be terrifying. Oh, no. Explosions. Any second now, right? Nice. Sticky bomb time! Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so stick. God damn it! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh no, he, oh, he's so dead, he's so dead, he's so dead. Okay, he's not. Please work, please work, no one explode. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's so close. Oh yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. oh, he's so dead. How did he not get shot? Oh no! Oh no, he's gonna save him! Okay. Oh my god. Oh no, they're running out. They're running out. Oh, this is not good. Is the tank shooting up there? I feel like yes. Oh, there it is. That's no, that's what I was not looking forward to.
Oh my god, he, they need they need ammo. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. Up him. Who is it? Oh, please don't tell me it's up him. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What? How did he not? Oh, he just hid. Oh god. Come on, up him. Go! Oh my god, hurry the hell up, please. Oh no, is he gonna be too late? No. Hurry up, up him! Too late now. Ah. Good job. Good job. I get it's hard, but... Oh. Nice. Oh god. Well, that's a surprise and a half. Uh, there's all the bullets. Oh no! Damn it! Oh, he's not gonna make it. Oh. Oh. Oh no. This isn't good. Gone. That's the duty saved. No. Oh, nice. Is that the- that's the dude that walked, right? They got reinforcements. Yay! And they have the bridge. This is all Upham's fault. I take great pleasure in joining the Secretary of War, the men and women of the United States Army, and the citizens of a grateful nation. I feel nation like Upham is wishing you good health. Not going to do well. Every day. I think about what you said to me that day on the bridge. To earn it? Tell me I have led a good life. What? Tell me I'm a good man. I feel like they're showing this really well veterans of war like except there'd be a lot of you know ptsd and a lot of issues that is so many deaths it's just insane right okay so 
first of all, I didn't say this while watching, but the opening scene was amazing. I feel like that would have taken that would that must have taken so much planning, so much well, probably so much money to do the opening scene of them on the beach at Omaha Beach. That that was like an insane opening. Absolutely insane. For some reason, it was just I don't know, it just got you into the chaos and everything. I feel like seeing this in the theaters would have been insane with all the explosions like all around you. I feel like that would have been like a pretty crazy experience in theaters. This movie was just absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting Private Ryan to be like, well, I'm not going back. But I mean, it makes sense. I think it's great. And the fact that they managed to hold the bridge, even though there were issues. Uh, that's like, I completely understand Upham being terrified. I feel like he would not sleep well at night after because that is on your conscience like people dying because you couldn't do it i feel like that would be horrible and the fact that you wanted the um the prisoner to be let go and then it turns out he's the one that killed the captain i'm pretty sure that was him <sighs> that was that was crazy there's was, there's was a lot of actors that i didn't know were in here i also didn't know anything about the movie so i wasn't expecting anyone Tom Hanks did amazing. I wasn't expecting Vin Diesel in it. I think I feel like this is at the beginning of Vin Diesel's career. I could be wrong. This was, I think, also at the beginning of Matt Damon's career. I don't know if it's the same time as Good Will Hunting or after, but it might be around the same time. Uh, there's a lot of actors that I, I can't think of their names. I think um, Giovanni Ribisi was the medic, I think. There were a few more that I am not able to name, but I'm like, oh my god. This person looks so familiar. I know them from movies, but I can't put a name to the face. That was just really good. That was like nerve wracking. I feel like this was a, a good depiction of war, like uh, accurate, maybe not good. War is not good. <laughs> um, but I feel like this was just anxiety throughout the whole thing. Especially the thing they, they thought they found Private Ryan and then it turns out, no, it's just a common name and that's not the right dude. And that was, Firefly, I don't remember his name. It was really well done. And especially with the fact that when uh, they let the prisoner go, there was basically, it seemed like they would have, um, turn while well, they were turning on one another, there was uh, uh, Mike and other dude. That was, I was hoping, I was really hoping that they wouldn't hurt each other. Friendly Fire is really not great. I also thought Friendly Fire was happening where Uppum was, was supposed to go give them the ammo, which I thought it was, it may have been, at first I thought it was going to be um, the Germans that were going up because the slow steps and they were like checking everything. But then I thought maybe it's actually Uppum. Maybe he did kill some and then he's just like traumatized so he, he can't really walk very fast. But so at least I guess on that side that there wasn't friendly fire there either, but that was pretty intense. Thankfully, there was the planes that showed up, like reinforcements that showed up at the end. I feel like I really, really enjoyed seeing the Omaha Beach sequence and them trying to move forward. That was, it felt like there was no way they were going to do it because, I mean, as soon as you land, there's just everyone shooting at you. It feels like 80% of them were dying, which is not a good thing. But yeah, I think cinematography wise, it was outstanding. There was a little bit too much sh shaky cam for me at some points, but I mean, it's, it's a war movie. I sort of expect it. It's just, I can't look at it all the time, unfortunately. I really, I really think this movie was amazing. I feel like it should have won a lot of awards. I don't know, I'm really glad to have seen it. Really glad to have seen it. I, I feel like I want to go through all of Steven Spielberg's films to see what he's done. I don't think I've seen many of his films, to be honest. I feel like I've, I know of him more than I've seen what he's done. Yeah, I think all the actors did amazing. I, I really enjoyed seeing some scenes where it was a bit more lighthearted. They were joking around, but then it got somber pretty quickly, which makes sense. I liked Tom Hanks. He felt like a character that was really able to talk to others, speak to others either 
reassure them or lead them or just treat them decently. It was nice to watch. Unfortunate, though, that Upham wanted him to live. And I guess technically the captain did let the prisoner go, but oh boy. It's definitely, it doesn't seem easy. I definitely do not want to be in a war. I don't, I, I wish there was no war. That would be so much better because there's so much death from it and just so much hatred and, ugh. It is now time for some IMDb trivia about saving Private Ryan. Um, first of all, <laughs> did you know that Matt Damon is Private Ryan like I thought before? So we're good. Uh, Steven Spielberg cast Matt Damon as Private Ryan because he wanted an unknown actor with an all-American look. He did not know that Damon would win an Oscar for Good Will Hunting and become an overnight star before the film was released. That makes sense. That makes sense. So it was around the same time as Good Will Hunting, but you can't really predict an actor's fame to rise up. You, you don't know. Oh, the Omaha Beach scene cost $11 million to shoot and involved up to a thousand extras, some of whom were members of the Irish Army Reserve. Of those, extras, of those extras, 20 to 30 of them were amputees issued with prosthetic limbs to play soldiers who had their limbs blown off. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense to, you know, actually use amputees instead of people with limbs and, you know, blow them off. Method acting, maybe? I hope not, no. <laughs> that's a lot. That's $11 million to shoot. And that scene, I don't remember how long it lasted, but it felt like it lasted a long time. But at the same time, in the grand scheme of things, it was not a big like a, a long duration of the movie. So it's pretty crazy. Um, so the special effects team rigged the actor's rifle with special sensors that sent a signal to exploding squibs located on their targets. Shortly after an actor pulls the trigger, the targeted squib detonates, creating a realistic impact for both shooter and target. That is smart. I mean, I, I feel like that's probably the best way of doing it because you have the actor, they're shooting, and then... You can react to it actually something exploding or, you know, being hit. That is nice. I don't know how many, how often that's used in movies, but I feel like it should be used pretty often. So Vin Diesel was paid $100,000 for the role of Private Caparzo when he was still a little known actor. Huh. Oh, it turns out the role of Private Caparzo was written just for Vin Diesel after Steven Spielberg saw Diesel's independent film Strays which was also his direct directorial writing, producing, and lead acting debut. It was very impressive. That is pretty awesome, though, to have Steven Spielberg be like, hey, I wrote this role especially for you, and you're like, uh, yes? Why would you not say yes? That is that is fantastic. I, I didn't know that uh, Vin Diesel did uh, directing, writing, producing, and leading. May have to watch this and see what it's all about. Oh. Oh, the Omaha beach scene was depicted with so much accuracy to the actual event, that the Department of Veteran Affairs set up a tol telephone hotline for traumatized veterans to cope. Oh, I mean, that's, I guess that's the bad thing about having a movie really well done is that like a war movie is that it can trigger veterans and like, oh yeah, it's for, for me, who I haven't gone to war, watching this is amazing and it lets me sort of know what it would be like in war, not to the that extent, but it still gives me an idea. But yeah, having gone through it, I don't think it would be great to watch. Well, that is the end of IMDb trivia. I, I, I gotta say, this movie was really enjoyable. It was just really well made. I don't think I have anything bad to say about it except for the shaky cam, but that's only because I get motion sickness. 10 out of 10, would recommend, for sure. I just want to thank all my patrons for supporting me. Very much appreciated. And also thank you for subscribing to the channel, leaving comments, interacting, liking the videos. It all helps a lot. And if you want to see my full-length reactions, you can sign up to Patreon. The link is in the description. I haven't had much experience watching war movies. I'm getting more and more with this channel, so it's very interesting to see. This, is, this will not be my last one. Definitely not. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. This is really a great movie. I recommend everyone should watch it because it's just done so well. I look forward to knowing what you thought in the comments and I will see you all in the next video.